Uh, well, the Center for Historical Reenactment is um, a platform uh, initiated by Gabi Ngobo with Donna Kukama and Keman Waleurele uh, in Johannesburg, South Africa, in which they use um, this particular name to uh, provoke actions that engage them with the local communities. Um, in a way, I, I will sort of flee from, from the definition of the project, which I think is um, something that you could also, also pursue it and, and maybe have an interview with them, is that I believe that it's interesting to look at history and to look at ways in which we can uh, tweet history. No? And there are, there are two senses of history in terms of the social historical process. One is uh, the story that happens and the story that we believe has happened. And these are two different realities. And I think art and um, cultural proposals or uh, artistic projects propose a different reality and add complexity to that historical process. So using reenactment, uh, it depends on how, how are you going to frame it. Are you talking about the reenactment of a battle in the United States uh, as a commemoration of a specific uh, moment? Or you are talking about reenactment as a way of uh, rethinking that a specific episode, that a specific uh, moment of history, you know, which I'm more interested in. Uh, how we can, how the artist is in a way as an, an intellectual that somehow add complexity to processes of history, how can intervene she or, or him in the history making. And, and that's what I believe is interesting about that. Um, in, in a way, in the, uh, in the aesthetic experience, there are many um, many possibilities of inhabiting, of experiences, uh, the present. Uh, in, even the, more, the most utopical forms of present. So I think the reenactment has for me, or for my, my understanding of reenactment has that element in, in, implicit in it, no? that bring that opportunity. Uh, it's that uh, during these past two days we have been talking about a, a certain kind of a space in between. So that for me, the, the, the possibility of the reenactment, maybe not the reenactment itself, is also you know, an attempt to inhabit or to experience that, that space. I mean, pure reenactment, there are many episodes in history that contain risks and are dangerous. If you repeat them as such, of course you are repeating that danger. Even, uh, you will go beyond that. Uh, for me, what I think is interesting is that how you use an historical event, the singularity of that event, to transform it into something else. What do you want to tell me about that past that is so relevant for the present? That's what I'm interested in. And, and maybe you subvert the danger that already exists in the event, right? So I think these are, these are these are possibilities that we can think about when we think about reenactment. But from my perspective, I mean, I, I will, of course, any, any action taken is a risk. But yeah, we, we suppose, I think we sign up for that, no? In a way. <laughs> if you are talking about specifically the project that you're doing, I, I, I had no clues because uh, I don't know specific, like, I don't know what are you going to represent. What I think is interesting in that context is to think about how you define the, the, the subject of that question, the subject in that platform, how do you find spectatorship, and how you use something that was in the past to talk about issues that persist in the present. If you take it as a, the repetition of something that happened in a specific moment in Norway, without the self-criticism and without the, the possibility of, of, of that being something that one can subvert, you will get trapped in the same problems that made that uh, project a failure. But if you instead uh, propose alternative, present both audiences in the present time and the audiences uh, for which this project was conceived, you have uh, the opportunity to create a different reading of that event. So, I mean, and, I, and I'm saying this and I want this to, to be part of, the, of, the, of my response to you because I don't know at this moment when we are speaking what is going to be the project that you're going to present in Oslo. Yeah. Without that, I cannot tell you. I mean, of course there are risks. I think what is interesting about your initiative is if you allow yourself to uh, really be extremely self-critical, why at this precise moment you need that to uh, to be a possibility. Why is it important for you to bring back uh, that initiative? And I think 
if you manage to include that within the conversation, uh, allowing uh, something that didn't happen before, which is the fact that this, uh, the character in your reenactment has an agency and present that agency, or you discuss the lack of agency that all this other uh, protagonist had at that time, I think only with that formula you will be able to not to get into the trap of history and into the trap of repeating that history.